So what's up? This your boy DJ Kills on Jones, man. Um, yo, um, I saw Iron Man three. The movie was dope. Um, I'm gonna go ahead on in. This is my review. I ain't gonna do a whole bunch of fanciness. Y'all already know. I'm gonna put the tray. I'm gonna put the stuff on STF. You wanna play? Um, from STF. You wanna play? And from RealTalkGamer.com. Y'all can check out all the reviews and all the coverage that we had over there. So, you know, my thing with this movie, and I'm going to go ahead and say this, spoilers, from here on in, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the, in the, in the, in the, in the bottom too, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just like, the movie was dope, you know what I'm saying, I can't even, I, I can't even describe to you how dope that this movie was, and it, it, it took Tony... Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr., same person. But anyway, it took him from, okay, in the first movie, he was cocky. He felt like, you know, he was Iron Man. Yay! You know, and the first one, to me, is still the best one. Um, Into the second one, where he felt like, you know, he was the be all, end all, be all. Nobody could stop him. And then he gets to learn that it's other stuff that's going on around him. And then the Avengers, where he really sees that he is just the guy in the suit. You know what I'm saying? And in this one, he learns that he's not the guy. He he is the guy that makes the suit. The suit is nothing without him. The, the per, Tony Stark isn't, isn't just his suits. He is Iron Man. He has put this together. I mean, he makes 42 different suits. 42. 42, that's, that, I mean, I, I don't know how they could, you know, kind of cross the, the, you know, the streams over there, uh, but, because Sony isn't with, isn't, you know, doing these Iron Man moves, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just weird, um, you know, how they did that, but anyway, um, he learns, you know, that now there are people out there, not just the super, super villains, but people who he, in his personal life, um, with you know, with Killian and Killian made the extremists and the extremists in the comic books was this big event in Iron Man where you know this guy was just was blowing stuff up. He was you know infecting people with it, and then you know other folks knew about what was going on. But if they were they knew or they were down with Killian, he was he infected them, and if he wanted to, he could just. You know what I'm saying? So in this movie, I kind of see where they had to get him a little task force to go out and, you know, try to get Tony and then go get, you know what I'm saying? So it it, it, it just seemed, you know, at the very, very beginning, it felt like the dude was being butthurt. You know, it kind of reminded me of Batman, um, Batman Forever with the Joker, and I'm not Joker, with Batman Forever with the Riddler and how the Riddler was butthurt that Bruce Wayne wouldn't, you know, you know what I'm saying, wouldn't take his idea and everything else, he thought he got blown off, and, well, this one, he thought he got blown off, he really didn't get blown off, well, he may have, but, you know, it kind of implied Tony blows him off, but he blows off the chick, and that's how they end up, you know, intermingling, and, and, and the house scene, oh my god, even though Tony gets wrecked, almost, he almost gets wrecked in, in this, for him, for 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 Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts putting on this suit, put her him putting the suit on her, and she getting to do her thing. Now, first of all, I'm gonna say this: the the people who do the TV spots don't ever show a, a like you know what I'm saying. Don't ever show a part like that doing a dag on TV spot. That should have been something for the preview, a split second. Y'all had to put it in the TV spot. Now everybody who didn't hadn't seen the movie yet is gonna get then no then on top of that don't put the end but anyway back to the house the whole man and he he pretty much told this dude meet me at the crib you know what I'm saying he just went Tony Stark just went black on everybody I'm like dang he's sitting up here did he take the phone and build me like that that was total world star because you know like hey did the mind space i felt like this was world star because everybody was watching and you had all the paparazzi it, it was like justin bieber world star tmz and he was like i mean build me jumps into the uh 
Aston Martin and speeds off, gets there. Then you know what I'm saying, and and it, it was crazy. It was just crazy. Then the, then you know as he got with the little kid, and the little kid in a small town in 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 in, in Tennessee was crazy. That whole thing was crazy, and then how the little kid, he, he, Tony gives something to the little kid, this little gadget, and he helps get away from uh, Killian's Killian's goons. That was a that was it was a, it was foreshadowing all day long, and I even knew once the dude walked in there before he even said this is extremist, I had a I said you know what, ain't no way in the world they're gonna have both Mandarin in here. Then into Ben Kingsley. As the actor, I love I love how his accent and everything was all evil and maniacal and everything else, and how everybody was ticked off that Ben Kingsley was gonna be the Mandarin, and somehow they was gonna shoehorn him in here with this plot. And then you saw the rings, and they faked everybody out. Then you know it it it, it just kept going, and it was like okay, he figures out what's the extremist. So he gets the uh, what's his name? Gets uh, Pepper gets captured, infected. Um, Rhodey is getting compromised, and then they thin you into. Then you get to solid, solid Stark. He getting he he didn't make, went to Home Depot, went to the hotel, fashion these weapons together, and then just goes and just goes in and just starts taking out these dudes. Gets to the place, chick betrays him and everything else. I don't even I don't even remember her name, but uh yeah so. What's his name? Killian gets the suit. You know what I'm saying? Blows up Air Force One. Do the earlier in the movie where they knew how to track Air Force One. That was genius. And they and then then they had the fake actors. I don't even know why he. You know what I'm saying? We don't. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, America don't negotiate with terrorists. You call the man. Give him your location. He didn't sent your. He didn't sent the dude the phone number. So now you didn't gave the man the location and everything else. And I love how Killian was trying to play it off like he wouldn't run the whole shebang. So then, you know, I, I was wanting Tony to kill the dude who had injured Happy in that in that in that regulating scene with the extreme. He blasts him through the chest. And I was so happy because I was because the dude had the had the Air Force One Captain helmet on and you know total Terminator two rip off. But anyway, so we so and then it just the movie just keeps going and then they get to the oil tanker. The president is ricked up in this in the suit and everything. So they they then he calls in Project Houseport. All of the suits gets there and then they just it. it it had to have been one of the best action scenes I have seen in the movie, in a movie, since like well, let me think, let me think of something else that was nah, I can't even think of nothing that was this dope. Not on a regular film, like on animated movies. You know, th th you know what I'm gonna say that this was the best action, the 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 project Happy Hour or whatever was. The house part, Project House part, was the was the best action scene I didn't seen since the Tie Fighter scene was in Star Wars: A New Hope. Other than the Avengers, but the Avengers was kind of, uh, it was it was kind of at the end, like nor near the end of the fight was kind of which we call it. This was just totally just badass. This was just bad from the beginning to the end. And then you thought everybody thought Pepper was dead and I was like then then somebody that was sitting with me was like, oh, she gonna be alright, she gonna be alright. So then she comes up and they tag team whooping him. Then you see Heather I mean Heather, Pe Pepper. You see Pepper, my bad. I'm thinking of Gadget Boy. So yeah, Pepper, you see her you know, at the end kick butt and it was just it, to me I felt like that this was a more intimate tale of Tony how Tony has realized he ain't the only that people he got enemies some of them he didn't make you know what I'm saying so you know I, I if I had to get this a number if I had to get this a total you know what I'm saying if I had to get this a this a rating I would give it a, a 8 out of 10 or a 4 out of 5 it wasn't perfect it wasn't a just the, the the best movie. It wasn't the best movie. I would say this: it's the best movie in the in the series. If I had to put them all in chronological order, I had to say Iron Man One, Event, uh, Iron Man One, Iron Man Three, Avengers, um, uh, uh, Captain America, Iron Man Two. 
No, no, no. Thor, Iron Man 2, The Incredible Hulk. And I, I think I got everything. But that, that would be the order. Iron Man 3. No, Iron Man, Iron Man 3, Avengers. That, that's the order right there. And, and, and it's a good order. You know, Avengers 2 wasn't bad. It wasn't a terrible movie. Same time, it wasn't. It didn't live up to this. This lived up to expectation. It couldn't do what number one did because number one did what it did because it was number one. Just the same way that like Batman '89 or uh, Master of the Phantasm or 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 I ain't gonna even say Batman, but Batman '89 was for the whole series. It's still something about Batman '89 that makes it so good that it none of the other movies other than Dark Knight. But that's a whole different type of film, and Dark Knight, right? A whole different type of feel. But yeah, this your boy. I'm done. DJ Kills on Jones, man. Peace.